Okay, first off, sorry about the lighting. I'm in our little uh, storage building that we put together on our deck. It's actually the patio cover, but we walled it off. Anyways, this is my 6500 watt Pro Point generator. This is the one I picked up from auction. It didn't really need much to get it back up and running. Just the battery and fresh fuel. Did not do anything to the carburetor. Didn't do anything to the air filter. I changed the oil. And that's pretty much it. Fuel, battery, oil. That was it. Anyways, I might be trading this for some riding lawnmowers. I had somebody contact me yesterday saying he has some riding lawnmowers and he wouldn't mind trading for a generator. So I have this one right here. Um, I think he was originally more interested in my Hyundai. But my Hyundai has just sold and actually made a halfway decent profit on that. The video will be released probably after this one or I'll release the Hyundai video, I'll release this video and then if this one leaves I'll release this video. Since this generator is still currently for sale I don't really want to release anything at the moment but I guess I could release the Hyundai, we'll see. Anyways um, I contacted him back, I said yeah the Hyundai has sold, um, I still have this one and you still want to make a deal. And he said yes, so I'm probably going to end up taking this with me on Monday, family day, so he can check it out for himself and see that it does run. So I don't know how we're going to make this deal work at the moment. Um, I'm thinking wait till the ground dries up a bit so I get a trailer out, so probably wait one or two weeks or I'll have to make alternate arrangements to go pick up stuff. But obviously I'm not leaving the generator without taking something with me. Um, I'm not definitely not doing that. Also, I got to go over and check out and see what he has. I'd like to get at least one parts tractor out of the deal to fix up another one I have. And potentially one other machine that I could just fix up and resell. And make my money back on this generator right here. But this generator is nothing wrong with it. It starts right up. Only thing is, you got to hold the choke on. That's not a big deal. So, um, for you to do a quick update. So, yes, the Hyundai is gone. I did not get, really get a full talking outro video on the Hyundai. Um, just a sh uh, short with the slideshow, which, in my opinion, that's good enough. Um, the same thing will happen with this generator right here whenever either it's sold or if I trade it off for these tractors. And like I said, the video will be released around the same time. I'll figure I'll show you the space that I'm in. So you can see we bought plywood, 2x4s along the top, uh, 1x6s in the corners. It's still the uh, metal frame. You can see the light coming in around the edges. So yeah, it definitely helps keep the patio furniture dry. Mice can't get in here overly easily. I haven't seen any mouse drops and I haven't seen any mice activity in here, which is good. And I've been storing our generators in here. Uh, this one here and the Hyundai was in here as well all winter. So I kept them out of the garage. And they were still not in the, not in the weather. And they were nice and dry. And they actually stayed relatively warm since this has a metal roof. As soon as the sun hit the roof, it actually warmed it up in here halfway decent. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Just a quick story, quick update on the Pro Point. It would actually crank right now. It probably would start. I had it running just yesterday, so there's really no need to start it. So running yesterday, I had a load on it yesterday. I also had the battery on the battery tender yesterday as well. So that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment, and wish me luck. Bye for now.